kids. So we've talked about pre and post procedure care guidelines in the classroom. And remember, these are things you're gonna do for every patient regardless of the procedure. So there are lots of safety checkpoints involved in this. So for our um, demonstration today, I'm gonna show you um, the pre and post procedure care guidelines. Our assignment will be to take the patient to x-ray and we're also going to do wheelchair safety so we're going to include all of that so first thing we need to do of course is gather our equipment we're going to need a wheelchair we're going to need um, some sort of uh, blanket to cover our patient up to provide for, for privacy and I'm going to need some gloves so first thing I'm going to do is come over use my hand gel grab some gloves and I'm just going to stick these in my pocket in case I need them take my wheelchair Now when you take the wheelchair into the room, this is what you do not want to do. Right up here by the patient because they can't, everybody wants to push the wheelchair all the way up to the head of the bed. Now the patient has nowhere to put their legs. So you're going to take your wheelchair in and just kind of put it towards the end of the bed here so the patient can have room to move around. So these skills are intermixed. If you've got your skill sheets, um, just kind of lay them all three out so you can look and kind of keep up with where I am. But right now I'm on the wheelchair safety skill sheet. You want to make sure you lock the wheels using good body mechanics. So that means don't bend at your waist. Make sure the foot rests are both up. Okay, so, and they are. I'm going to put this down here. So I've knocked on the door. Hi there, Miss Langston. How are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm good. I'm going to grab some more hand gel. My name's Lynn and I'm from Hartsville High School and the doctor wants you to have an x-ray. So we're going to get in this wheelchair, go down to x-ray, and come back. Okay. okay. So can you tell me your name and birthday? Jan Langston, 2-22-71. Awesome. Alright, so let's make sure this bed's low so you don't have to jump out. Lower the side rail. Alright, so I'm going to help my patient up to the side of the bed and we're going to dangle. Now you've watched that video, so you know the signs to look for. Are they pale? Are they having trouble breathing? Um, do they look like they're in any kind of distress at all? Are they dizzy? You feel okay? I feel fine. All right, so let's get in the wheelchair. I'm just gonna assist. There we go. The patient doesn't really have any mobility issues, so we didn't need to use a gate belt. All right, before you leave the room, you're gonna need to Cover up your patient, provide for some privacy. These little hospital gowns are short and you don't want their rear end hanging out for, you know, everybody in the hospital to have a look at. So lower your foot rests. And I usually use my feet so I don't want to touch them. You might have to assist your elderly patients uh, putting their feet up on the foot rests and if you do, that's okay. Just help them with that. All right, so now we gotta unlock our wheelchair. Okay, so to get the wheelchair going, you want to always remember your proper body mechanics. So you're just gonna let your body weight be like a counterweight. So you're gonna get close to the object and then you're gonna kind of lean back to get it going, okay? Then you're gonna go down here and we're kind of tight on space. So remember, this is the lab world. We're just pretending that we're at the hospital. We're gonna get on the elevator right down here. So when you go down here to get on the elevator, push the button, elevator doors open, you're going to turn and you're going to back your patient into the elevator. Okay, You don't want to push them straight in and then have, have to sit there and stare at the wall at the back of the elevator. Plus it's easier to push straight out when the doors open. Okay, so we've gone downstairs, we've gotten our x-ray, we're finished, we're back in the elevator, coming back up, doors open, and here we go. Again, you're going to use your body weight as a counterweight to get it pushed and start you don't want to push your wheelchair like this. Of course, I've never seen anybody do that, but just, you know, <laughs> feel the need to tell you. Um, so, okay, so you're gonna go back into the room, stop your wheelchair towards the end of the bed so the patient has room to get out. Very important that you lock your wheelchair so the patient doesn't uh, roll when they stand up. Come around, get your soil supplies, and we're gonna dispose of this in the dirty linen Put that in there later, okay? And then I'm gonna use my foot. I don't have gloves on. All right, let me assist you up and back to bed. You did great, thank you. All right. Let's go 
good to see some different scenery. Oh, I love that. Do you smile pretty for your picture? Okay. All right. Put the side rail up. Make sure the bed's in the lowest setting. Do you know how to use the call bells? Yes, I do. Okay. Are you comfortable? I do. Do you need anything? No. All right. Well, I'll come back to check on you in a little bit, okay? Okay. Thank Here's you. Here's some hand gel. And then you're going to take all of your equipment. Oop. Got to unlock those brakes. all of this and put it back where it needs to go and you'll know where it needs to go when we do our tours of the hospital okay so if you have any questions make sure you ask your teacher uh, you can email them ask them in class however you want to do it thanks